everyone, so today's video we're going to check out how good these hair donuts are as tire foams. I've seen a couple of pictures of people using them, so I nipped out to Poundland today, grabbed four of these, and I'm going to fit them and see how they go. So, as you can see, my uh, eye rocks are majorly deflated, um, the foams inside have been replaced twice in the last maybe two, two and a half years. Um, some of you know, you know, it can be a bit of a nightmare finding the right phones. You've got the dual stage, the single stage, the soft, the hard, the blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, and I've tried a few different ones and they all deteriorate fairly quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wheels apart. Um, all I have to do is just literally do these six in the back. Take them apart, then I'm going to clean the wheels up, clean the tyres up, uh, check for any puncture holes in there, repair them holes, and then we'll stick the hair donuts in and see what difference that makes. Okay, so let's get these screws undone, and then just as an idea, give you uh, just show you how the foams are in these. Now, like I say, these haven't been changed for a fair while, these ones. So they were due anyway. Uh, I'll just get these six undone and then you'll see what they're like inside. So that was an ori that was originally a 1.9 tire foam. Uh, as you can see there, look at the look at how much the foam has changed. Uh, it's slightly, very, very slightly damp, which indicates there is an air leak, oh, there you go, and there's a cut in it there as well somehow. No idea how that's happened. Um, they're well used. But yeah, so I'll take the rest of these wheels apart uh, and then go and give them a clean. And when it comes to reassembling them, uh, show you how they look with donuts in. The tyres uh, and the, the rims are all cleaned and scrubbed down and dried off. Um, so these are diamond to wise a midges bigger than the than the IROC tires, um, but they've got really good stretch. Now I have already done three of them, uh, just because they were a little bit difficult to get in. You know, you, most of you probably know how hard it is to do beadlocks anyway. Um, it was a little bit difficult, but they already feel so much better. Nice, really good weight in each in each tire as well. There you go. So that is that done. So that's that one on. Uh, already massive difference. Like I say, the original foams were just, you know, they were huge. To be fair, that's probably not far off 2.2 size wheel size now. Um, but yeah, huge, huge difference. So I've gone from, you know, that squidgy deal is just ruined. But yeah, so that's it. So the next video uh, will be a test see how these perform, I head up to the local quarry, um, do the usual routes and runs that we do, see how they do. Hey everyone, so come out with the venture to test out these new um, hair donuts, see if they're actually any good. Um, so as you probably saw earlier on in the video, um, the ones I got were uh, the large ones um, so they're all fitted um, come up to Hulking Quarry uh, I do apologise for the wind noise it's also drizzling as well um, so yeah give them a try we've got Doggy Wag and Beth over there say hello Sasha <laughs> she's just still watching um, so yeah going to give them a try going to see how they do in regards to um, keeping the tyre round but allowing a bit of squash for grip. Also see how they perform with regards to sidewalling. Um, see the tyres fold over and it causes the rims to ride. But yeah, we'll uh, have a good look. But we're going to go just have a play around this area here. See what's what and uh, see how they do. Been here for several times. Uh, it's really good for the area mix of terrain here. So just see how these donuts hold up. I'm driving one I did and holding the camera with the other hand. So 
have a look at this rock here Let's see what sort of squash we get I do apologise if it's quite dark But it is about 3 in the afternoon So, so far It's alright It's nice and easy up there section here There's a decent bit of squash there you can see there okay, just bring it back to touch you can see there's a little bit of squash which is nice try to put it in grip Not too bad to be fair so far. So they provided a uh, fair amount of grip. Okay, so again, what you can see there, I just crawl it into it. See, there's a decent bit of squash. Okay, so let's see how it does with a bit of side hilling. Yeah, it's, it is steeper than the camera's giving. Give it away. As you can see there, it's not really too bad. It's not any major fold. The fold with the old tyre folds was a damn sight worse than what that is. Okay, so let's see how it does here. So this part here is fairly steep. Brake. There is no time lapse at all so far, which is really good. Okay, so we'll go here. Now these rocks are quite slippery because they're quite exposed to the, uh, the elements up there. Maybe we get the right position, it helps. Slipped off too far to that side. Now there is a specific spot on this rock uh, that's quite essential as to whether you are or aren't going to make it up it. I think you might have it there now. So this type of rock, it's fairly grippy, I've been up here in the summer and it's incredibly grippy but it's quite slimy and wet right now, so it's not actually done too bad. Um, as you can see there, there's a decent bit of flex there as well, ties up in the arch, you can see there's not a lot of squash in anywhere, so you can see under there, it's probably a bit too dark, the tire's slightly squashed but it's not anywhere near the rim, so that's another plus one for the hair donuts. this one now this has got a big sharp point at the top so as soon as the front wheels get to the peak of it I have to uh, flip the power on top it over uh, there's a step up here as well driving one-handed. 
quite great for control. But let's try that again. Go. And ah, to do it again. There we go. That's got it. Well, what's the verdict? So. Very happy with them. They've done really well in that test, as you've just seen. Um, they need to go on a full, more thorough test because, like I say, we were only out for a very short period of time. They've done very well. Um, they are still. This section of the video I filmed a little while after. They're still completely rigid, so I've not lost any air at all out of them, which is really good. Um, got another set that we're doing that we're going to test smaller tyres this time um, so they've got smaller donut size in them and the glue tyres on vented uh, plastic wheels so you see how they do but for now thank you for tuning in remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video